Hey fam, welcome back. Marshawn Olanio here. Have you ever thought about why we keep failing in our relationships? Now, I did two videos on the reasons why we keep failing in our relationship. And today, I want to talk about the two main reasons why these things keep happening over and over and over again. Uh, the first reason why we keep failing at our relationships and we keep going down the rabbit hole of repeating these behaviors over and over again is because number one, we are taking our partners and spouses for granted granted because we've been in our relationships for any length of time and after we gotten the woman after we gotten the guy all of a sudden we feel like we don't have to do the things that we did once to get the person right we just start to get into our everyday routines we start to allow life to take over and to come in and to just dictate how we show up dictate how we act dictate how we act and even respond at times right and so instead of us really being more intentional about you know what i need to show up in this way i know that the world and life is coming in every day and it's punching me in the face and giving it all to me but when i go home instead of us peeling off all of that junk before we go through the door or even having some type of a routine before we go into the house like listening to calming music in the car meditating for a few minutes listening to some gospel if that's your thing but allowing yourself to decompress for a few minutes before you go inside with your family now we go inside with all of this junk and we don't give our, uh, ourselves a chance to decompress or to process the day before we entertain our families and our spouses. And so because of that, we, we, we take all of this junk inside with us. And this is where you start to take your spouse for granted because you're pushing them off to the side. You're not opening up. You're not like really going in and greeting them like you first did when you guys were first dating. And so you're just, again, you're allowing life to come in and to take over your head space, your mental space, and even your physical space. Because a lot of times when you're not here, like when you're around your family, right? You're around your family, you're around your spouse, but inside here, you're, no, you're not there. You're not with your family, you're not with your spouse. And because life got you up here, it actually has you physically as well, right? So that's the first thing is that we're taking each other for granted. We just believe that he always gonna be here no matter how I show up no matter what I do no matter what I don't do no matter what I say no matter what I don't say no matter how I blow up right he'll get over it or even she'll get over it and the truth of the matter is if that is repeated time and time again why would I as the person that's taking that get over it right so we have to be able to separate the outside world from our inside world which is our spouse and our children and our family so we got to be able to separate them and stop taking them for granted and thinking that they're just going to be there just because you are you right i've done enough i already got him i already got her and so now i don't have to do anything and that's just false you still have to keep up the very thing that you did in the beginning is the very thing that you need to do to keep your spouse happy and wanting to stay with you so stop taking the person for granted the second thing that we do and why our relationships keep failing over and over again we keep going down that rabbit hole is because we're selfish we are super selfish people so not only are we taking each other for granted now we're super selfish everything is about ourselves there is little to no sacrifice when it comes to these new age relationships I and mean, even when i talk to clients it's all about self what can i actually get out of this relationship versus what can i give to my relationship what can i give to my spouse what can i even give to my children because the truth of the matter is some people are not even giving to their children like we once did before so what can i get out of this relationship i can get with this man and what can he give me what is he bringing to the table? But you're never focusing on what you're bringing to the table or what you're lacking, right? And so because of that, you are just being super selfish. It is all about you. And you never think any further than yourself, right? And so the only time you're giving, air quotes, the only time that you're giving in a relationship is because you are wanting to receive or get something out of what you're giving and because that if you have a condition on your giving which is why you have a condition on 
how much you are really giving into the relationship and how intentional you are being and showing up as well as um, how much you are willing to just freely give without any expectations of receiving, right? Literally, the good book says that it's better to give than to receive, but not many people are following that rule anymore. It's all about self. That's where selfishness comes from. The self is in there, right? And so we're not thinking about the we any longer. We as in the spouse, we as in the family. We're thinking about the me. And when you're only thinking about me, there is no we. And a family, a house divided, again, as the good book says, a house divided always falls because you two are not on one accord. And there may be one person that's a give, 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 give. And the other person is just a take, 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 take. And anytime that occurs, that house will fall eventually. So these are the two reasons why we keep ending up on that hamster wheel and why the relationships just keep falling. So stop taking your spouse for granted and also stop being selfish. And now if this sounds like something that you need help with, because you know that this is something that you're struggling with, you're trying to be better, but you don't know where to start, look down in the description box below and sign up for a 20 minute coaching conversation where I can help you with getting this together. All right. I love you guys. And there's nothing that you can do about it. Again, I am Marshawn Olanio. I am a shift relationship strategist where I help black Christian women that are married or in long-term relationships to stop feeling disconnected and I love and shift you to feeling heard, understood, and appreciated in your relationship with yourself first and then with your spouse. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.